the third um, category that Blankowski Shake, I think that's how you say her name, uh, found in her dissertation is courage. She defines that as showing strength in the face of pain or guilt. The three subcategories, commitment, hard work, and accountability. I think this is huge. Commitment, hard work, and accountability. Courage is not going to come without commitment. Am I in? Am I out? Am I waffling? Am I going to do this or not? Am I going to do this or not? And I, what I, my experience is that a lot of betrayed partners are holding back, waiting to see if the one who did the betraying is serious about the commitment and rightly so. As y'all probably heard me say before, if you've listened to me much, I think the one who did the betraying needs to go first. You need to lead the way in this. Courage would be a great core value to adopt and you're going to have to show a commitment. I have already decided. I have already decided I am in this. I have already decided I'm going to do this recovery thing and stop renegotiating with yourself. You've made a decision. Now do it. Engage the number two here, hard work. Engage the hard work. It's not going to be easy. I'll say it one more time. It's not going to be easy. If it's coming easy, you're not doing it right. If it doesn't feel like hard work, you're not changing your brain. That's just neuroplasticity. That's just neuroscience there. And then accountability is huge. I'm going to put myself on the hook for this. I'm going to open myself. This is about transparency and honesty. This is transparency and honesty. And I'm going to share with others. I'm going to put myself on the hook for this. I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to ask others to hold me accountable. That takes courage. These are things that increase as a result of post-traumatic growth. 